Cisco VPN, ASA and Microsoft, Microsoft Azure AD and MFA. We're already in Azure Active Directory. We're gonna to go to Enterprise Applications. We're gonna go ahead and create a new application and we're gonna find any connect here and go ahead and create it. Now, Microsoft's included um, some good information in regards to what you need to do in order to get it configured. We're gonna do this together. We're gonna to go ahead and set up single sign-on. All right, we need a couple pieces of information here. It's pretty self-explanatory. We need the tunnel group name and we need our FQDN. And that's all we need to insert here. In the uh, reply URL, again, another example is just below. Um, we're gonna replace the FQDN portion and then our tunnel group, which is in our case is gonna be Azure-MFA. We'll save that out. And that looks pretty good for the applications, but we're gonna download the certificate because we're gonna import that within the ASA. And we're gonna copy off the, the elements for login URL, Azure AD identifier, and then log out URL. So we'll go ahead and capture those. I'm just copying those over into a notepad that I'm gonna use to transfer over to uh, the ASA platform. We'll go to user and groups and let's add some. Now, when I go add user group, this is a, a default, you know, free um, Azure subscription here. So I don't have, I, I guess I don't have access to groups, but here nor there, it could be groups. I'm just gonna add a couple of users here and we'll go ahead and hit select. And looks pretty good. So that's pretty much it on the Microsoft side. Now it's time to jump into the ASA. So we're gonna do, we're gonna import that certificate. We're gonna do it with the command line here. Um, there's a couple parameters there. I'm gonna copy and paste that into the comments section of, or description of the video. And then go ahead and paste in your, um, your, your the key that you downloaded or certificate that you downloaded. Once it's imported, hit yes, close this out, we're done here. Um, that's all we have to do. And we'll just go down to uh, certificate management here real quick. And we'll just confirm that uh, we do see that certificate. And accounts, there it is. So we're good. We've got the uh, trust point installed. And we can go ahead and build out our configuration for SAML. So let's go back into the tunnel group or the connection profile. We've got our group policy. Again, no real big magic here, but let me just show you. We'll go to group policy, and there it is, group policy is your MFA. All I've done is give it a name, um, give it a banner, so I know I'm actually hitting that policy. Um, no magic there whatsoever. All right, let's go and select Sam L. And we got to create a Sam L identity provider. I have one there for Duo. We're focused here on the Microsoft element. So we're gonna add the entity ID first, and then we've got the sign in and sign out URL. Those are those three um, URLs that we copied over from the Azure interface. The base URL is going to be um, the URL to connect to the ASA platform. Now, don't include the HTTPS and make sure that you change it to HTTPS as you saw I did, did there. Then we're gonna grab the identity provider cert and the uh, cert for the actual ASA itself. And that's it. That's all we have to do to get this up and running. So let's go ahead and hit okay. We'll apply this out and let's give it a test. Less than five minutes of configuration here. And that includes testing. So we got Azure MFA is our tunnel group that we're connecting to. We can see this looks pretty good. We'll go ahead and try to log in as HR1. It may also ask you to enroll. I've already done all of that with this particular user.
Now it's showing up on my phone. We'll just give it a second here and I hit approve. We'll go ahead and hit yes. We are connected using Azure MFA with Sam L. And that's it. 